So far we've worked with just one room, but now let's add another room. Before we get into this module, let's talk about partitions. You know, what is a partition? So if you think about it, it's often a room or actually defined by movable walls, or it could be smaller zones of a larger space. An example of two partitions could be something like this, where we have one large room, but we actually called the first partition room A and the second one room B, but they're actually just separated by an actual movable wall. And now that we have this large room, it allows you to easily work with all your inputs and outputs in any of these two areas cohesively. Our CP2 console software also gives you a more intuitive way to do room combining, which we'll talk about in a later module. And also these separate partitions can be renamed to fit the application that you're working with. So if you notice on resources and partition management, I can now go to add and says, you're adding a partition to this configuration. This action will create one new combined partition. So what this means is I'll have room A separate. I'll have room B separate, but then we'll get a new combination called AB. And later on, we'll talk about how we can combine these two rooms together to do a whole separate thing. So now we'll say, okay. Notice you can rename this. It's just like I did with the first one. I'll just call this room B and I'll say, okay. But now that I'm in room B, let's add some resources in here. So notice we only had the one device. We had the 128VD in the stack, but it has more mic line inputs that I can use. We've only used two, so I could actually add some more in this room. So let's go to resources and partitions, and I could say, well, I want to add a handheld and a lavalier in room B, but I also want one, two, three, four, five, six table mics. So in this case, I could just actually go up to hit eight mics now and hit add. So now you would have all those mics listed as a resource in this particular room. We could also add a VoIP line for another VoIP calls, maybe in room B. And we could also use a mic line output for room B as well for ceiling speakers. So that part is good. And now we could also add another gating group. Since we have more than one mic, we would want to use a gating group. Now let's say I wanted to be able to utilize these two mics or these last two mics, whichever ones that you happen to have on this list, that you wanted to make those two mics as the handheld and lavalier, but you wanted to use them by using a Dialog 20 on the P-Link. So if you remember in room A, we had the mic line inputs, lavalier and handheld, and this would be if those were directly, had a mic line input directly into the back of the mixer. But in this case, I'm actually gonna use the Dialog 20 on the P-Link. So if I'm gonna have a P-Link device, I actually have to go back to devices and add a P-Link device. Remember, the 128VD is hosting only the beamforming mic right now but I could add more. So we can now go to the Dialog 20, and I would just maybe rename this as a Dialog 20 in room B, and hit OK. Maybe I want to utilize a USB for conferencing in room B as well, but I physically have already used in room A the USB. So physically I'm already using the USB on the back of that mixer. So in room B here, what I could do on the devices here on the P-Link is add another P-Link device, which is a USB expander. So I can put a USB in that particular room. So I'll just call this USB expander, and then I'll call this room B. So that way I know for sure which one that one is and hit okay. So now I've added some more P-Link devices to the actual single mixer that is hosting these devices. Then I could go back to resources and partitions and notice there's dialog 20. I would want to add these two, even though the mics are there, I'm gonna to have to say that I'm going to use the dialog 20 as uh, the device that will 
give me those that audio through the p-link so i'm going to add the dialog 20 mics and i'm also going to add the left and right for the usb off of the expander so that way i can make those calls as well so this is how you could add resources to a second partition of a large room separated by movable walls and at the same time how to actually add the second partition to the project